Hey, what's going on, guys? Ryan DeLorean Fan 81 back at you here with contest entry for Jason. Big Fish 74999. What's up? <clears throat> uh, today I'm going to be making for you what is called cheeseburger rice. I guess if you want to call it, it's kind of a combination of um, uh, kind of like hamburger helper meets rice aroni. Uh, kind of a hybrid, if you want to call it that. It's uh, really simple, uh, really easy, doesn't take too long. Uh, so let's get to it here. First of all, you want to brown uh, about a pound of ground beef, 80-20. Uh, uh, I suppose you could, Jason being a chef, you would know how if you wanted to like jazz up the meat and fancy it up, I guess. I suppose if you wanted to, you could put in like onion or something there and, and um, simmer or sweat the onions. I can never remember what the actual term is. Oh, hang on. Earthquake. There we go. Put that in the hand strap. So, whoops. There we go. So what you do, it's real easy. Cover that up. I'm going to cook. No way you can hear me. Uh, real simple ingredients. Um, uh, two cups uncooked minute rice. You need to make sure it's minute and not bagged uh, because the way that the two different rices cook, uh, the way this cooks, um, if you use regular rice, it'll be crunchy. So you're going to need to uh, make sure and use minute rice. Uh, two thirds cup everyday ketchup. Uh, one and a quarter cup, or excuse me, one and three fourths cup water. Uh, doesn't need to be hot, just regular everyday uh, tap water. Uh, tablespoon of mustard. Uh, and then you got your meat. Um, one cup of cheese, which I might have shredded cheese. I forgot to check the fridge, but that's alright. It cooks either way without it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so that's all you need. Um, uh, I was going to cook that down, but so I kind of started the camera prematurely. Uh, so let me cook that down. After we're done cooking it all the way through, drain the grease off. Um, and then we'll add all the ingredients, so I'll be right back. Mm, pumpkin spice cake with white frosting for the win. What's up guys? Back. I'm going to resume out. As you can see, cooked the meat down, drained it. Now that you've done that, time to add uh, the ketchup. Which I'll scoop that out when I turn the camera off. I'll finish scooping out what's left in there. Oh well, it's really not much. your water. I'll put the recipe below of course. I did add a little salt and pepper on the meat to taste. You'll probably want to add just a little bit more than a pound if you're making it by the recipe because obviously Jason as you know it'll cook down a little bit. And uh, mustard which I don't know if I can do this one handed or not. I didn't think so. God damn arthritis. Okay. Well, you add a tablespoon of mustard, so and then you bring it to a boil, which um that'll take a few minutes. So um in the meantime I will um scoop out the rest of the ketchup and then squeeze out the mustard. So back in a second again. <clears throat> Alright, there we go guys. Uh it's boiling now. Meat, ketchup. Smells a lot like ketchup soup. Huh. That there is such a thing. Uh, now let's come to uh, pretty much a boil. Uh, starting to bubble there. Uh, I suppose you could take it to a rolling boil um, if you wanted to wait just a few more minutes, uh, but I'm hungry so. Uh, now let's do the boil. Take in your minute rice. Stir it in. Obviously, make sure you get all the rice soaked up into the liquid. 
Otherwise, once again, you'll crunch your eyes, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Stir it in there. Lots of steam coming off. Hopefully it's not fogging with the lens. Uh, put the lid back on. And as per rice directions, you want to uh, leave it there for five minutes. So, so there you go. Couple minutes, it'll be done. So, when that's ready, we'll eat. Uh, so, like I said, I'll put the recipe below. A uh, nice, um, obviously, a nice one pan dinner. Uh, it does easily double. Um, it's kind of like mac and cheese. You can either obviously have it for a side dish, or if you want to double it to make more, um, you could have it for a main course, too. Um, <clears throat> Although, if you do double it, here's the thing. Make sure you double everything. Okay. Well, let me repeat that. Make sure you double everything. Um, you can uh, go kind of sparingly on the meat, but make sure you do the rice as well. And um, definitely make sure you double the ketchup and mustard. Um, if you don't, it won't come out uh, tasting right. So, it just comes out really bland and mild, and you definitely need to make sure to double the ketchup and mustard. Uh, like I said, you can probably flavor up the meat. Um, you know, like I said, you can either sweat some onions in there uh, while you're while you're simmering the meat down. Uh, I don't think that would affect the meat too much. Like I said, um, you're the chef, Jason. You would know more than I uh, on that aspect. Uh, <clears throat> uh, guys, if you don't know Jason, you're missing out. Uh, hell of a guy. Uh, I've known him for. Uh, uh, several years now in the YouTube community and uh, I still uh, owe him a debt of thanks for um, he gave me probably the greatest one day sub increase just by a plug and I bet I gained 30 subs on one day just because of him so thank you very much for that man I've uh, done a few trades with him uh, those went more than smooth and uh, just a hell of a guy all around. So uh, if you're not so doing, I'll put the uh, link below and make sure you double DM sure you sub. So, uh, <clears throat> hope everybody's doing well. Um, might as well just talk while this is going on. Uh, hopefully, I can edit and splice this all together. Uh, I haven't quite used my new software for this camera, so. Uh, well, you can hear that boiling away, can't you? Turn the heat down just a skosh. So, Jason, if you try this, let me know. Um, like I said, you can double it for your family. Um, I used to watch cooking shows a lot as a kid. Uh, being a latchkey kid, uh, I've been to cook for myself since first grade, so... <laughs> Probably the only kid in the world who was second or third grade who already knew how to make this, that, and the other thing. Um, <clears throat> cookie up a gourmet meal, as it were. Right there in second or third grade. It helps to get it actually on the burner. There we go. I do like to cook as much as I can when I can. It's fun to experiment with new things. Gotta love food in general and cooking. It's an interesting correlation, but um, food and cooking is a lot like sex when you think about it. Sometimes it's a good hot mess, other times it's warm and mediocre, and other times it's <clears throat> cold and with bad service. So, and you didn't even want to give the tip. So, uh, interesting correlation there nonetheless. So, let it just kind of simmer right away, isn't it? I used to, like I said, during the summer, I'd sit home and watch the cooking shows a lot. Graham Care and Yan Can. I love Yan Can cook. And uh, my favorite though was Justin Wilson. He was a he was a riot. Those of you guys who don't know Justin Wilson is the um is a kind of an old rednecky guy who wear denim shirt and dirty jeans while cooking food and do a lot of home home Louisiana style cooking. And you would say I guarantee 
You need to uh, make a lot of neck bone, which I've never had, but I don't know if you can cook anything with that. One thing I had a long time ago, um, when I was down in New Orleans a long time ago, was gator, and I would love to have it again and cook it at home. And It's all like eating steak with your hands. I don't know if you know this or not, Jason. I can't find anything on the internet. I don't know if it's kind of like beef where you have to, you can kick it a little rare, or if it's like pork, if you have to cook it all the way through. Um, being down south there, I uh, would uh, assume you've uh, at least somewhat cooked with gator, or maybe not. Uh, let me know on that much. And there we go, five minutes. Just give it a nice, as you can see. The liquid is very much boiled down and give it a good stir mm, it's hot. off the burner That smells good. So yeah, just um, salt or pepper to taste. Um, I'm supposed to be one to spice it up. You can use um, Tabasco or something like that. Um, I've never tried it like with a, instead of using regular yellow mustard Dijon, but it, uh, like I said, you would know how to spice it up more than I would. So let me know what you think, Jason, and everyone else out there. If you want to try it, I'll put the recipe below. Uh, I got a cold Budweiser over there. I'm gonna finish that and dish up a bowl of this uh, like I said you can either have it a side dish or main course make sure you double everything uh, you know make it up with biscuits or something like that um, some kind of bread or um, it would go good with um, obviously I wouldn't make it with beef because that we have almost too much beef I'd make it with um, if you're gonna do some maybe make it with uh, a loin or a chop so so, like I said, guys, let me know, and uh, go sub to Jason. Uh, it's a nice, cool, brisk day out there, and uh, we're expecting this weekend anywhere from 3 to 14 inches of snow. So, uh, maybe making this again in a couple of days. Uh, thanks for the contest, Jason. Uh, next, um, as far as on the channel front, next video you see from me after this will be an entry to Josh Johnson's... Um, or not Josh Johnson, why the hell did I say that? I just got done watching Amish Dave's cooking, that's why it's in my head. Purple GT22, uh, his uh, favorite product and or set video uh, contest. And then um, uh, hopefully you've already watched the video before this for the last mail day. Alright, take care guys. I am starving like a son of a bitch. Alright, this is really good, trust me. If you put a spoonful on your head, your tongue will lick your brains out. Later.